Because uh, the first day was very much oriented at uh, the results of our Skills Alliance, uh, today um, in the heart of the discussion is the implementation and rollout of the European um, Blueprint. Um, so uh, how to step into action uh, and how can we shape the future steel transformation from the skills perspective uh, together. Let me just go through the program of uh, today, very briefly. Yes, uh, as I said, the implementation and rollout, uh, bringing the blueprint to life uh, is our main topic uh, today. Um, uh, we will start very soon with a the, um, the, uh, uh, very high level panel uh, discussion where um, the, the main, uh, let's say, most of the main uh, interesting and uh, relevant stakeholders are on place. Unfortunately, I have uh, to apologize, Gabriele Moore. Gante, he was um, he was uh, uh, at, at the conference yesterday, but he uh, unfortunately could not join today. So we have a little more time to discuss with the other um, uh, people. Um, then after a break, uh, we will um, have three parallel breakout sessions on the topic of skills and jobs in the future steel industry. The first topic is how to detect new skills and improve learning arrangements. Um, this is moderated by Caroline Eitner from ThyssenKrupp and it's uh, um, uh, about skill, labor, competence and attractivity analysis um, uh, done by, by um, V4. Um, and uh, Dennis Oswald and Kai Petrisor. Then um, how to get steel workers back on the learning track? This is um, the question of Christian Starov uh, Rosnagel from the Jak Jacobs University and the Navit Network. And vocational training for zero, uh, qualification and skills for the digitized work of tomorrow is uh, presented by Inga Shad Dankbart, which uh, uh, she is um, um, uh, she is from the uh, German Federal Institute for Vocational Education and Training. Um, and then session two is about the member states. So national vet system strategies for the steel industry of tomorrow. Jörg Markovic from 3, 3S is uh, representing European vet systems. Um, he worked for also for, the, for CDVOP, CDVOP on this. And uh, steel industry training skills challenges, uh, the responsiveness of VET is presented by, by Luca Antonazzo from the Cardiff University and a country case, Poland is presented by, by Wojtek Schulz from IMZ. Uh, this is moderated by Dean Stroud and Martin Weiner from Cardiff University. And second three, Joanne Kuipers from Tata Steel is moderating the regional perspective, so regional strategies for, uh, for future skills. Uh, she's presenting the regional ecosystem Tata Steel, and we will have a short in, insights on uh, three um, important clusters of collaboration where we want to um, collaborate with, with, uh, with ESSA as well. So one is Siderex from Felix Bayon and Sidenor Asia San Milan from Siderex. Um, Polo del Acero is presented by Daniel uh, Fernandez from, from this um, cluster and uh, Juan Alvarez from Aslor Mittal Spain. And the Sustainable Steel Region North Middle Sweden is presented by Last, last Ingberg. So, um, and uh, after these three sessions, we will have a, 
uh, a kind of look in the future. Um, uh, Oskar Primich uh, from the uh, Education Audiovisual and Culture Executive Agency EACEA is uh, uh, telling us something about funder, future funding possibilities by Erasmus Plus. Um, uh, this is uh, the funding scheme, which is uh, where ESSA is funded by. And wrap up, next steps, farewell, um, is done by Dean Stroud um, from Cardiff University, the co-coordinator of ESSA uh, and me. Okay, so a full program. But uh, let, before we come to the to the panel, let me just stimulate you a little bit uh, concerning um, the the background for the implementation and rollout strategy. I already presented it yesterday, so I can be a very very brief uh, to do it. Um, just as an overview, uh, if from a general perspective, the implementation. Should uh, the 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 SR blueprint should be integrated in existing governance and coordination structures aligned with other steel industry related blueprints such as automotive construction, industrial symbiosis, uh, additive manufacturing, just not to let's say um, uh, bore the the regional stakeholders with uh, five six seven different blueprints implementation on, on the regional national level. Very important, it is a exchange or a collaboration on the European member state and regional level we have in mind. So as a co open coordination in close cooperation with ESTEP Bureau for Industry All and the Sectoral Social Dialogue Committee on Steel. Um, I presented yesterday um, what we have in mind is a foresight observatory. And um, Jorge um, presented yesterday the online ecosystem Steel Hub. On the member state level, we will have uh, uh, want to have the national associations as, um, as connection points, for sure the trade unions and also the VET system institutions. But we will very much focusing on the on the regional level uh, where people live, work, and learn. Let's say like this, with uh, setting up, establishing uh, regional skills framework, partnership, and development processes in regional training ecosystems, by integrating of the of all the stakeholders uh, that are relevant. So associations, social partners, structure and leadership. VET system institutions, pathway for skill supply, integration of ESSA trainings, company skills requirement, training offers and usage, research and education, and civil society, wherever this is possible. On the regional level, there are also uh, social innovations in education and employment, but also social integration uh, um, initiatives that could be of relevant for the regional a training system, ecosystem as well. So what we, we uh, want to do is uh, here um, shown in a, in, in a uh, graphic uh, way. So we have the European level, we have the national steel organizations, and we have the regional member state level. Um, and, and, and there, in the steel regions of the company of the the countries, we will focus on um, uh, stakeholders from economy, policy, research, and education, and civil society, including companies, training providers, RTOs, and trade unions. And this could be combined also with the offers from the online training ecosystem. So there will be a um, relation and exchange between uh, this training levels as well. So yesterday I already presented this, that uh, we, we will focus in the steel regions, for instance, here Western Germany, the Rhine-Ruhr area. We have a lot of uh, steel companies to be in integrated. We have uh, trade unions of a national scope, but also at the local scope, we have training providers active on the national scope, but also on the local scope. And the same for research institutions, national, but also local. And these, uh, these um, uh, we want to, to integrate. 
So um, very important is that the, the national steel associations um, um, or unions are connection points. So um, we, we want to identify uh, on the member state level, um, uh, let's say a connection point uh, where we could also, let's say, coordinate or integrate different steel regions in a, in a country. 